So I recently conmarried my bookshelves, which means I took all of my books off my bookshelf and laid them out in front of me and decided which ones I really wanted to keep and which ones I wanted to get rid of. I actually filmed the process of me doing this, taking off my shelves and reorganizing, but it was so much footage that I put it in a separate video. So if you guys are interested, I'll link it on the screen or down below or something for you to watch. And that's literally just the process of me reorganizing. But for this, I'm going to show you all of the books that I'm going to unhaul today as a result of that. This whole thing was inspired for, by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. She did a conmaring her TBR video a while ago and so I wanted I felt inspired I actually just did my closet and a bunch of my clothes felt inspired to do my books let's just get into it so the first book that I am unhauling today is we all looked up by Tommy Wallach I actually read this and I really enjoyed it it is kind of an end of the world contemporary novel where it's kind of announced that this meteor is coming for earth and there's no way it's going to be deflected while well, four teenagers on their journey kind of processing this and and things like that and I did really enjoy it however it doesn't have a lot of reread value I'm not gonna pick this up again so I figured I would get it off my shelves and give it to someone new then I have With Malice by Eileen Cook this is a young adult mystery novel that I got in my used bookstore I have not read this yet but I've heard not great things about it and there's just other things that I want to get to and this is just one of the things that came off my list. Next on this is The Espressologist by Christina Springer. I actually really enjoyed this. I read this before booktube when I was actually a barista and this is about a barista and it's a cute little holiday read but again I'm not going to read this again and I just, it came off my shelf and didn't make it back on. What can I say? Then I have a little bit of a controversial one. I'm unhauling City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. This is the only Mortal Instruments book that I own and I'm not planning on picking up the rest of the series. I'm still keeping my Inferno Devices and Dark Artifices books, but I'm... If I ever want to reread this series, I'm just going to get it from the library and I'm just... I don't need this taking up space on my shelf even though this was my favorite one. It looks weird out of place without the rest of them around and I'm not going to spend the money to buy the rest of the series so get in the cut. The next two on here are adult fantasy. The first one is Assassin's Apprentice and the second one is The Elfstones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. This is by Robin Hobb. These two I'm just not gonna get to. There's plenty of more adult fantasy that I want to get to before these so again if I want to read these I still have a little bit of interest but I'll just get them from the library. Then I have The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Ockler. I was so hyped about this like a year ago and honestly I forgot what this is about. I do know that it has really good diverse representation so I will be picking it up eventually but not anytime soon so again I'll get it from the library. Then we have Bloodlines by Michelle Mead. I actually listened to this book on audiobook. I have finished it. I have no intention right now of continuing on with the series. I'm keeping my Vampire Academy series because I liked those more than I liked this one. I may continue eventually but it's not high on my priority list so it's just taking up space on my shelf. And then we have the Lux Beginning series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read the first book and this is a bind up of the first two. I have not gotten to the second one yet and I don't know if I ever will. If I do, it'll be from the library. All of these books that I think I will enjoy, but I don't need to own, if that makes sense. This is a young adult sci-fi alien book. It's decent. Then I have the Maze Runner series by trilogy by James Dashner. I read all of these a few years ago, I think in 2015. And I enjoyed them, but I don't see myself ever wanting to reread these. And honestly, these were on my maybe pile for unhauling. But once I reorganized my books on my bookshelf, all of my maybe, like I felt so good about it that I didn't want to put any of my maybes back on the shelf. So that's kind of where these fall. I enjoyed them. The last book is not my favorite and I don't think I'm ever going to reread them. Then I have Amulet, uh, The Stonekeeper Book 1 by Kazu Kibushi loved this graphic novel gonna pick it up from the library I don't see any sense in owning this I'm not gonna reread it 
someone else is going to get a lot more enjoyment out of this by owning it than I am. Then I have Hood by Stephen Lawhead. This is a Robin Hood retelling I haven't actually gotten to yet, but it's mass market paperback, so if I do want to pick it up again, I think I'll pick up a full-sized copy and see what it's about. And yeah, I'm just, it's not for me right now. Not for me right now. Then we have Beyonders, A World Without Heroes by Brandon Mull. This is a middle grade fantasy novel that I heard really good things about, but again, I've had it on my TBR for like a year and I'm not gonna, I don't see myself getting to this anytime soon. I've not been reading a lot of middle grade. If I do pick up middle grade, it'll be The Search for Wandla or Percy Jackson, so yeah. Then we have Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Wallach. I bought this on a whim because I liked Tommy Wallach's other books. No idea what this is about, zero interest in reading it. Don't know why I picked it up, it was an impulse buy. Then we have One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McMahons. This I actually recently read and I did not like it. I gave it a two out of five stars. It is a young adult mystery novel about a homicide and these four people that are there to witness it and it's just average. Then my last and probably saddest, I Am Unhauling the Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I tried to read this a while ago for Tome Topple, ended up DNFing it. Don't think I'm ever going to pick it up again. It was not for me. It was just so slow and not interesting and there weren't enough ladies to keep me interested so I'm just I'm getting rid of it I don't really want this on my shelf I'm not gonna continue on with the series or try and pick it up again I'm never gonna say never but at this moment in my life not for me gonna get rid of it so those are the books that I am unhauling today I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another video soon goodbye